Hey guys, it's my last video of 2022. And that also finalizes my YouTube channel of this month, December. I've been doing 31 videos in 31 days, meaning a daily video here on YouTube, trying to make educational videos and color grading and give some tips for filmmaking and all that stuff. And whew, it's been a ride and I'm looking so much forward to dialing down just a little bit because making a video every single day has really been a tough one. But I thought why not end the challenge with a Let's Color Grade episode seven. One of my favorite series is that I've made, just color grading, explaining what I'm doing. And we're gonna make it simple and quick today. So I'm just gonna take one of my favorite waterfall shots, panning down and let's color grading for some moody greens and see what we can get at. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and get started. We're inside DaVinci, jumping into the color grading tab and just gonna drag this over a little bit. So I'm gonna do my usual thing and make my color space transform here. This time I'm actually gonna convert it from Rec 709 and Canon Log 3 because that's what it was shot in to DaVinci White Gamut and DaVinci Intermediate. And we're gonna do something here from DaVinci White Gamut and DaVinci Intermediate to Rec 709 again and Gamut 2.4. Let's just brighten up everything a little bit. And this is the shot that we're working with. Now, if you've seen all my other videos, you might be wondering why it's not cinema gamut this was before i figured that cinema gamut was better to use at least for me so that's before i started using that so that's why it's from rec 709 from the beginning that's the color space that it was shut in all right so now we have our davinci white gamut color space in here the first thing i want to do is make a few notes here to just dial in our color correction just gonna label the notes as i always forget to do that so this is our reg to DVG and back at our DVG, DaVinci White Gamut to Rec. This is gonna be our contrast. This is gonna be our C contrast, which is color contrast. This is gonna be our exposure. And this is gonna be our temperature. Just gonna call that temp. So starting with the contrast, I'm gonna drag that down. I'm gonna make it a pretty harsh contrast for this one. Really wanna make that waterfall pop like so. And already now it looks pretty moody. That's it guys for today. No, just kidding. But that actually looks pretty good straight out of the bat. I will say exposure changes. Let's just go in and see if we actually want to do something. I might want to just create a bit more exposure here, turning the offset up a little bit and then dragging down the lift, pushing up the gamma a little bit. We don't want the waterfall to be overexposed. I think, yeah, this is pretty good. So after the contrast, this just makes the waterfall pop a little bit more without overexposing the water. Temperature, I'm not really sure we want to do anything here. I think it's pretty well exposed already. Actually, let's just see if we zoom in a little bit. We could make it a little bit more teal just by pushing the tint towards the green. Why not? Doesn't really make a huge difference. Let's do it. That's fine. I'm going to pull in my cinematic curve here. So I'm just going to drag down to make the shadows a little bit more green or blue in this case and make them a little bit more teal like so. That only affected a little bit. I think we want to drag it up just a little bit more here. Adjust it a little bit. Now I'm switching between them because I can just drag on the points here. Uh, that's a little bit better and then we're going to do the same thing for the red channel but this one is as you might know be a lot more aggressive so we're going to turn that down and see what happened here and actually we ended up removing this blue cast that was in the water which I actually liked was there so let's just see if we can maybe get that back by just removing a little bit of what we did here i feel like it got way too strong let's just take these down to 75. There we go, that's better. Now the water is white. We can always change that again. That's This is probably better, actually. The water wasn't that blue. So a white cast is now pretty good. Okay, so that's our color correction. We can just see what we did all the way from the beginning. This is our flat image, and this is where we are now. Quite contrasty, quite moody. Let's go into our first one and call this our hue adjustments. Gonna go into our hue and just see what we can play around with here. So I think if we're gonna make a point around here and here and then here, these should be our green tones and this should be our blue tones. So see what we can do here. We might wanna push it up just a little bit to get a little bit more of that teal look back. It's not that much, it's a little bit subtle. Definitely goes, yeah, towards the greens a little bit. And then we're gonna see what we can do with this. Ooh, we can make these very green and flourish. Yeah, it just gives it a little bit more pop in the colors here. I like that. Let's keep that in here. Gonna make kind of the same points here, just adjusting these and then see for the saturation. Just make it pop a little bit more. 
gonna drag this down. We want we want the greens to be moody for this one. So I'm just gonna drag down my greens here. See. Yeah, just went from this, just made everything a little bit moodier, and also a little bit more blue. I think we're gonna fix that in a second. For our luminance, definitely want to make sure that this is brighter. So just turn this up a little bit, and then turn this down. Kind of just made the same adjustments for all of them, with slight variations. So I think that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna head into my primaries. I'm just gonna call that prim for this one. In the primaries, I am going to add some more green into my lift here. Maybe a little bit more blue as well, and then remove just one red. Let's see what that ends up giving us. Gonna add it back to begin with. Yeah, that was too much. Gonna add it back to see if that makes, oh. Sorry, I'm gonna remove it again, of course. Like so. That gives us a way too blue look in the background. So I'm just gonna pull out a little bit more from the gamma here. And I'm actually gonna reset this. This gives us this blue faded look. Kind of looks desaturated almost. So I think I'm gonna pull in one more green. I might actually pull back the red again. And now I start to like what it looks like, maybe. Let's just remove, just gonna play around with these and see where we can get at. I think we might have added a bit too much to the shadows here, as it was already quite strong. Now it's way too red in the gamma. Pull that back. There we go. Just playing around with this to try and get a really nice look. I think that looks okay. I'm not sure if we pulled out too much of the green. No, I think it's fine. I like it. It's It seems more desaturated. I think we're gonna go for this very desaturated and moody look. I'm just gonna go into the curves again and just gonna see if we're actually hitting everything that we want. Let's see if we make something here. This doesn't really apply. Okay, just gonna drag this down a little bit more. Maybe drag this over even to just make sure that we're actually catching everything here and then pushing it back up a little bit. We don't want it to be that much. And then see if this adjusts anything. Oh, just adjusts the water a little bit. The saturation, gonna drag that back and see, just pulling that up a little bit. So we're, we're going back a little bit on what we did before and I think that made it look a lot better. So let's see what our primaries did now. Yeah, now it's a little bit more blue, but this desaturated green or blue green I like, that's good. What more do we want to do with this one? I think we kind of wanna, yeah, we wanna play around with some, some saturation here. So let's just make a sad one. And I'm gonna go into our luminance versus sad and just see what we can do here. So let's try and make a point here and just see if we can just, now we're just removing all of the blue from our waterfall. Like so, maybe dragging it out a little bit more to make it a little bit more subtle. That's good. And then let's see if we want to do anything with our shadows here. Just take the darkest points and make them all black. I don't think that really did anything. So let's pull this in more and this in more, a little bit more as well. Maybe even drag this down. We don't have that many like really dark points here. So I don't really think if we are doing, affecting that much. Yeah, we are definitely removing a little bit of the color here. I think that's pretty good for our desaturated look. Yeah, now we can see that the blues here are kind of disappearing. So that's good. For the last things I wanna do, I'm just gonna make a few masks. So I'm gonna duplicate or make a few parallel masks here. This one is gonna be our shadows. This one is gonna be our highlights. This one is gonna be our waterfall. I'm just gonna call that waterfall. So first up, the shadows, make a power window, pull it in here and drag it in this way, something like this. I think that's pretty good. Hitting the waterfall a little bit, perfect. I'm gonna drag down the gamma a little bit on this one, maybe down to minus or negative five, make it really moody. And then I'm just gonna go into my curves here, make sure it's linked. Drag up my shadows or my lift a little bit and then pull down my shadows again, just to make sure that nothing is underexposed, but everything is kind of like this faded look as well. And I'm gonna drag it back down a little bit. It's not as too much. 
We still have all the detail left, but it's very dark and moody, and I really like that. Our highlights, let's emphasize the color up here. So let's make a circular power window here. Just drag this out, make it kind of look like this, and then I'm just gonna soften it up to 100, see what that looks like. That's maybe a little bit too much, so let's drag it to over here. That's perfect. We are gonna try and apply a little bit more gamma here. Not too much. This is pretty good. Do the same thing with our curves. This one, I kind of think we're gonna go opposite. So I'm gonna drag up my gain here, doing the same thing as the gain, and then drag it down a little bit here. I think that just softens it up a little bit, make it a much softer look. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? I like it. I really like it. Might wanna give it a little bit of a glow. So just for the gamma here, just add a few reds up to eight, and then pull the greens up to like seven. This gives it a little bit more of this green yellowish cast. Maybe one more red. We'll remove a red, remove a green. Yeah, not as much. This is pretty good. Without two masks now, we've done this. Kind of shifting the light, as you might have seen me do before. And then for our waterfall, we are gonna use a qualifier here. Just gonna drag on this. I'm actually gonna remove this again, because that's not how I wanna do it. I just wanna use the luminance. This one, drag it in here a little bit, soften up the low part, and something like that I think is pretty good. Maybe just blur it out quite a bit, and denice it a little bit to make sure we don't get anything we don't want. And let's see, this is pretty good, I think. Just see if it hits everything throughout. Maybe we have too much of the dark parts left. Something like this. We only want to hit the brightest parts. Yeah, this is pretty good. All right, we have this selected, and I want to make sure we only have the waterfall in here. So I'm going to drag a mask on top of this. Stretch it out a little bit. Fill it out a little bit. Something like that. And now we don't have anything selected up here. I'm going to head into my gamma again. Just pull that up a little bit. And I'm going to go into my curves. I'm just going to play around the curves a little bit as well. Drag this in, pull it down, pull the shadows down a little bit. We're basically not doing anything to this. There we go. Just pull up the whites a little bit. Not too much. Give it a little bit more power. There we go. Now it just stands out a little bit more. It's it's not overexposed, it's just a little bit. I think this might be a better technique. Just don't want it to clip or anything. Yes, that's better. Maybe turn down just a tad. Okay, I think that's it. I think that looks a pretty damn cool shot. So we went from, this is our very flat image that we didn't really get to see. And this is our final edit. I really like how this turned out. Very moody, very contrasty. We could have maybe dropped the last part here of the waterfall. I don't know. Yeah, I think this still looks really good. So maybe not using the waterfall mask at all. I still like really like how it looks and how everything turned out. Still have details and shadows, have this faded look in here. One thing that we could do, just as like a small kind of thing, is use the dehaze tool here. And we need to pull it onto this the highlights here. And I wanna pull it the other way around. So not too much, just like negative 0.1, something like that. And just see that it gives it a little bit more of a hazy look. Go back in here, it might be even subtle but it just hazes it up a little bit. And usually it's meant for dehazing, but as we went negative, it kind of gives us this last glow that we want. So I think this is really cool. That's it for the final video of this year. A fun, small, let's color grade. I thought I would keep it simple and just play around as this is kind of a small celebration of doing 31 videos in a row. So thank you so much for watching. And even if you're new here, thank you for coming along. I hope you wanna hit the subscribe button and help me get even further into 2023. This has been an incredible year and I'm looking so much forward to doing so many more things in the next year. So thank you so much. Have a really great day. Happy New Year's Eve. If you're watching this on that day, probably not. And otherwise, I hope you got very good into the new year. No matter what, thank you for watching. Have a great day. And until the next time, take care.